Born Giovanni Battista Montini, Paul VI is affectionately known as the Pilgrim Pope. The church that we know today is deeply shaped by the Second Vatican Council and is in many ways a reflection of Paul VI's pontificate. Although John XXIII convoked the Second Vatican Council, it was Paul VI who reconvoked it after John XXIII died just months later. It was Paul VI who gave the Council direction, priority, and ultimately brought it to its conclusion. He was also responsible for promulgating its teachings. One of the major themes that came out of the Council was a desire for greater Christian unity. Paul VI sought dialogue not only with other Christians, but other religions and atheists. He is known for the historic embrace with the Greek Orthodox Patriarch Athenagoras on the Mount of Olives in 1964, when he lifted the excommunication which had caused the Great Schism and had lasted over 900 years. Paul VI had a great concern for the displaced and the poor. In fact, prior to his papacy, while he worked for the Vatican Secretariat of State, he organized extensive relief work for political refugees during the Second World War. Later, as the Archbishop of Milan, he was known as the Archbishop of the Workers, preaching the Church's social teachings, promoting education and the Catholic press. Noted for his rigorous reform of the Roman Curia, Paul VI was a great administrator and consensus builder, and we can thank him for establishing the Synod of Bishops. Although Pope Francis is the first Pope who did not participate at the Council, he is in many ways the embodiment of the Church born out of what was envisioned at the Second Vatican Council. Like Paul VI, Pope Francis is a strong advocate for the poor, a Pope who encourages synodality and desires to meet people where they're at.